What's up everybody? So today we're gonna to be doing something that a lot of people have probably already done. Um, I'm gonna be making or painting a Bob Ross painting on a t-shirt that I obviously got from the thrift store for $1.99. I've seen a lot of videos of people making Bob Ross paintings on random items and I thought that it would be a fun video to do just because um, I've never really done a Bob Ross painting. I do like to paint in my spare time, but I've never followed along a Bob Ross tutorial. I just watch them before I go to bed. And I also saw a video where I was introduced to this product, which is a textile medium. So this, you're supposed to be able to mix it with your acrylics and it makes like painting on fabric a lot easier and then you don't have to buy fabric paint. You could just take the existing acrylic that you have, which for me is a lot. So I went ahead and just marked off the square on the shirt that I wanted to paint with some Happy New Year washi tape. So now I'm just gonna mix some white paint with my medium and paint a base onto this shirt because we wanna start with a white background. And I also wanted to kind of like, while I was doing this, talk about some of the things that I see all the time that people do. When they're recreating Bob Ross tutorials for themselves, I see people make these kind of mistakes all the time. A lot of people I'll see, especially me right now, we're using acrylic paint. And I can understand why everyone uses acrylic paint. And that is because oil paint is very, very expensive. If you want to get set up with like the correct colors and everything that you need for oil paint, it will cost you a hundred dollars. And Bob Ross uses oil paint and that's why his paintings are like that. Because oil paint does not dry down as fast as acrylic paint. Oil paints will take three days to really dry down. So you're painting, if you're using acrylic paints, they're not going to look the same as Bob, it's not going to look the same as Bob Ross's paintings. It's not going to look bad, it's just not going to look the same. I guess what I'm trying to say is if you really want to get the traditional Bob Ross painting experience, you need to get oil paint and you need to use oil paint. So we have our white background, we have our uh, Bob Ross painting, that's the end result, hopefully. So let's get started. I messed up and forgot to record me putting the green paint down, so I made you guys a reenactment.
so much mess. And I got it on my curtain. <laughs>